Hey everybody, what is going on? So uh, this is going to be just kind of a continuation kind of series, I guess, on that five column row. Uh, the one comments that we've been having from uh, system 05-H1M has been amazing. And um, one of the other follow-up comments that they had was uh, now they want to add a mail icon to the icons. So what we'll do is we'll jump over and I'll walk you through how I'm going to attack this requirement here or this desire. So let's pop over and we'll check this out. So here's what we want to do. We've got the three icons. Um, they went ahead and they, they didn't want all five. They just wanted three. But now what they want to do is add a fourth icon, a male icon, which I didn't ask for help or anything. Just said, hey, that's what they're going to uh, go after next. And I thought, man, what a great idea. So first thing I want to say is, Dana and I love it when you guys comment and say, hey, how about this? Uh, what about this? Because it lets us know what people want to see on the channel. So feel free to, to you know, put some comments on there and let us know, hey, you know, we'd love to check, you know, we'd love to know how to do this. And uh, again, I really think uh, a male icon here uh, is a great idea. All right. And <laughs> and sticking with the whole font awesome theme is a great idea. So uh, I'm laughing right now because I just stumbled over font awesome like three times. So I should do like a bloopers thing like uh, Rob the Maritimer does. Uh, probably be quite humorous, but we'll just, we'll just kind of cut that out and not worry about it. All right. So um, what we're looking at here is in the footer we've got the the dark blue or the the blue icons the three of them we got the facebook there we've got the youtube and it looks like tiktok all right we want to put a mail icon and what we want to do with this mail icon is we want to make sure that we have our email link set up on it so it'll be a mail to link so when somebody clicks on it opens up their email and goes from there. So here's how I'm going to attack this. I already, I, I do have ChatGPT open and I, I want to actually walk you through how I attacked it also with ChatGPT just because uh, whole goal here is to teach you how to fish. All right. So we're going to go to Fawn Awesome and uh, we're going to go in here and do a search right there. And we're going to do a search for mail. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, a whole bunch of stuff came up here. Uh, of course, we're seeing a whole bunch that are saying pro. So what you want to do is right here, click on this free icon. And again, just all kinds of stuff comes up. I mean, it's it's a pretty, lots of good stuff coming up here. All right. Uh, in this case, um, I'm kind of, they got some pretty creative ones here. Um, you can do the little paper airplane deal. Um, but I, you know, as I look at this, I'm like, I want to make sure it's very clear. And so I do like the idea of an envelope and I really do like this one here. So I'm going to click into there now. Um, and for whatever reason, I ran into this earlier and I don't know why uh, site settings, it won't open up. There's, there's a pop-up window that's supposed to be popping up and it's not popping up rather than wrestle with why it's not popping up in this particular browser. I'm just going to do an incognito mode. And uh, once again here, let me just copy this because it's already going to give me, take me to the page that I need. Really odd that it's not working on that page, but that's okay. We open up an incognito window. We go and click on this again and, uh, <laughs> and it doesn't work. <laughs> how, how does this completely fall on your face when you're doing a uh what's we're looking for a how-to video i love it oh my gosh um this is just crazy let's just see if maybe we can just go to fun awesome i don't think it's gonna matter um really really odd that we're having this kind of an issue with it um wow i don't know if going all the way back through is gonna matter i, I don't think it will it did. Why? I don't know. You know, one of my other uh, accounts, uh, domain names is the Tech Gremlin Warrior. And a client and I uh, came up with this. She's like, Sean, it's the Tech Gremlins again. So I'm like, how about how about a cool website called the Tech Gremlin Warrior? And um, folks, this, this, this is a Tech Gremlin. All right. Anyway, so we're there. Now, a couple things that I want to 
point out while we're here is I, in previous videos, I've showed you how to change the color in the code manually if you wanted to. You can also change the color right here. So we're going to go into, uh, again, we want to, whatever code we get, we want to stick with the SVG. I've, I've experimented with this, and it seems like the SVG code works the best on your system.io websites. So just stick with uh, the option for the SVG code. All right. Now, right down here, lower left-hand corner is show styling options. So if you have... Uh, we're in incognito mode right here. So let's go back to our website here. And again, um, I'm going to go ahead and make it this blue. So I'm going to use my eyedropper. And again, this is the ColorZilla uh, Chrome plugin that I use. And I'm going to click on this blue. So it's going to grab it. All right. Now I'm going to pull in uh, here. I'm going to go back over to Font Awesome. And I'm just going to, I'm going to make this the, the right color on Font Awesome. All right. So... Let's go over to our color palette. And then right over here is pick your own color. And so I'm going to go and pick my own color. And um, it's actually giving me RGB, which I forgot did that. And that's fine. Let's go back over here and uh, grab our deal here and i'm going to just do this again if you go up to the color picker you'll see point sample and then you'll see the blue color swatch and then next to that's the rgb code 140 167 okay so we're going to go back over here click on here and it's going to be 140 167 and then you just kind of click out and there it is. Okay. So it's automatically adjusted this code. So now I'm just going to click on copy code. So we're kind of done now with Font Awesome at this point. All right. So what we want to do now is we can we can go ahead into, I can get out, I can click out of this. Now we, we can go ahead and click into this and edit the code, but we're not really ready yet. Um, because what we want to do is we want to take this code and put it into a mail to link. So I'm going to go over to ChatGPT. And um, you can you can have as much fun as you want here with ChatGPT. Have a conversation with it as if it's a real person. Uh, hello there. I hope you are having an amazing day. All right. Now uh, I am working on adding a font awesome. That's good icon to my website. And I want to use it as a mail to link. And you can put your email in there if you want. Okay. Um, but this, this is mine. Here is the code. Here's the SVG code from Font Awesome. How, now let's see, yeah, can you provide the code that I need to make this a mail to link? Okay. All right. And yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was going to do. This right here is our color that we picked. It's kind of interesting. It's giving the path there. It's it's a little different than what we had before. Now what I'm wondering about is where is oh it's still it's still generating the code. A lot of code. I was really tempted to click on copy code, uh, but I wasn't seeing what, what they call closing tags here. And so you have an open tag, which is this is an A opening tag, and then down here is the closing A oh, uh, tag. And then here what we've got is the opening SVG tag, and then here is whenever they put the backslash, I'm sorry, forward slash, uh, that is the closing tag. So that's the closing of the SVG tag. So I'm going to go ahead and click on copy code. Now we're going to go over to our editor. We're going to click on edit code. And then right in here, we scroll down. And uh, I want this mail envelope 
to go um, on the back. And one of the other things you want to catch, and I didn't I didn't put it in the font awesome though, is you want to make sure we're using all the same size. So we're looking at a height of 44, height of 44. So we want to make sure we have a height of 44 here. And I don't think it gave us that option with this particular code. So we've got the view box here, which is fine, but we they didn't give us a height and width. All right. Um, if we go back and look at the code from Fawn Awesome, uh, I'm not seeing anything there either for this. All right. So we might want to play with this a little bit. Um, I don't think if we look at this um, height and width. In this case, the height is going to be a little bit less than the width. So it's not going to be a perfect square. All right. Um, we're looking at 44 and 40. We could try 44 and 48 and just see. Uh, so let's just go over here. I'm going to copy this height and width right here. And we're just going to see what happens. All right. So copy. Actually, before I do that, I've copied it already. Height and width. Height equals. Okay, there. Copy. I'm going to copy that. We're just going to click on save first. Okay. Let's click on save and let's see what happens here. So right now, nothing happened. So something something is amiss here. Let's go back and edit our code. And let's just go see what is amiss. What is going on here? We're going to go ahead and put a height and we're going to paste that in there. It didn't like it right next to each other. That's interesting. It it uh, it gave us the code is invalid. So let's click on save. Maybe it wanted that. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that right there. There it is. All right. So it's kind of cutting things off, right? So what we're going to do is click into this raw HTML element. And um, what I'm showing here is, okay, we want to get into the row. All right. So we want to get into our row settings and adjust the padding on the left and the right so that we can make sure that that mail icon is showing up properly. All right. So I'm going to go into the row and there it is. And we're at 450 and 450. I'm probably just going to drop it down to 425 and 425. Same thing here, 425. Um, I'm a little worried. Looks like it's fine right now. Um, I'm going to do 420 and 420. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. 425 is probably fine. All right. So now we have our mail icon. Um, but again, we want to make sure that we put our actual email address on there, right? So let's go ahead and edit code. And then um, what we'll do after that is right here where it says mail to example at example.com. This is where you're going to put your email address. Okay. Right now I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, but the other thing that I want to do is a little, little fancy. We're going to take this, we're going to add a little bit of fanciness here, folks. All right. We're going to make this so that when somebody clicks on it to send you an email, it's going to open up their email uh, application, but it's going to automatically populate the subject. All right. And I think what would be really, really cool is maybe a subject that says hello from your website. Okay, so let's go over here and um, say, hey, uh, can you change the mail to link or can you add to, can you add to the mail to link a subject that says hello from your website okay and so not exactly sure i don't remember all this stuff so that, that's why i just go to chat gpt and have it do it for me it'll put something at the end where it'll say something like subject equals and we'll look at this real real quick and see what it says uh there it is right there see 
right there. This is what was going to change. And then, so yeah, it was a question mark at the end and then subject equals hello from your website. So I'm going to literally just grab this whole link here. I don't need to change anything else, especially since we kind of did do some editing of the code already. So let's go back over here to our editor and we're just going to change this right here. Control V. Okay. Click on save. All right. Let's go ahead and click on the eyeball. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay. When this opens up, it should open up my email application. Okay. And it is. Okay. I'm going to pop this over and show you. Check this out, everybody. All right. So there's uh, the email. And then look at this. Hello from your website. How cool is that? All right. So there you go. We we had we we had some tech gremlins come out and and uh, we had to do battle with them. All right. Uh, but we overcame. We we used some ChatGPT to help us out. Uh, we did some troubleshooting. But we now have a uh, mail icon that's set up now to allow people to mail you from your website using the font awesome icons that we got for our five column row. In this case, it's, it became a four column row. Uh, while we're here, we can go ahead and just, I know it's going to be fine, but we'll double check mobile and that's fine. Um, looking great, right? So we're good to go. Uh, if you are enjoying these system.io videos, we have a whole playlist down below. Please go check that out if you're enjoying these. We also have um, a link to the free toolbox down below if you'd like to get out this code and use it for your website. Uh, again, just sign up for the free zero to income toolbox. We're always adding to it, uh, but that's it for now, everybody. Have an awesome day.